a lot of viewers this is your boy sir peter and today is your first time on my channel kindly subscribe in order not to miss any of my videos today we are going to learn how to manage data consumption on mtn table net router for some time now maybe you've realized the rate at which your bundle reduces you don't understand Although you know the number of users on the router, but it could be some of them are using it to stream videos, download unnecessary movies. So these are some of the steps or the following are some of the steps we will follow in order to control the consumption of your data bundle or your broadband bundle on your MTN TurboNet router. Alright, so let's get started. The URL to get into the back end of the router is 192. That's the IP address 192.168.8.1. So when you type this IP address in the search bar of your browser, it will bring you to this very page. Okay, so on this page, we click on settings. So on settings, my username is admin remember the username is always admin lowercase and for this very router I've changed the password so let me enter the password ok now let me log in ok so when you log in it will take you straight to the quick setup page quick setup page of the router okay so one of the ways to control your the, the consumption of the rate at which your internet bundle or your broadband bundle reduces one of the ways to manage the bundle is to go to security so we go to security and security we click on the uh, device management yes so on device management let's say you will know that you've given the password of the Wi-Fi to let's say all your family members and you are let's say about five at home but when you click on device management this very page will list all the users will list all the devices on the router so those that are wireless will be connect will be listed in this very first table those that are connected devices maybe there is a desktop that doesn't have wi-fi uh, network card wi-fi card adapter so you've given it an internet cable so then the wired devices to listed in this very second table and all users who are offline at the moment where you are in the back end of the router to be listed in the third table followed by users you blacklisted that blacklisted users will come to that okay so at the moment you can see that for the first table that's the name of my Wi-Fi that's RCC net and I have only one user meaning that my laptop is the only one device is the only device on the router all right so let me try and connect my phone take note study the table very well it's only one device in the first table so let me try and connect my phone let's see whether another device will be added definitely another device will be added so let me turn on my wi-fi all right so as you can see another device device number two has been added and that's the name of my phone samsung galaxy a20s all right it's gone okay let me try again okay it 
has appeared. So this very table shows the the the, the all the wireless devices that been it the, uh, laptops, smartphones, tablets, uh, any wireless devices which are on the device will be listed in this table. So if you notice any strange wireless device you don't know, and just click on the block button here and it will ask you do you really want to blacklist this device click on ok the moment you click on ok it will be removed from the wireless device that particular device will be removed from the wireless devices table and be added into the blacklisted table as you can see the Galaxy A20s is now blocked in the it's now blocked meaning that it has been blacklisted all right so let me remove it from here i don't want to block my phone to have i don't want my phone not to have internet access not to have the wi-fi access all right so um uh what else so you can just be going through this very table you can just the moment you see any strength device on the system here the only option you have is to block the, 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 the particular device all right and one other way to uh, manage your data or manage your the, the rate at which one other way to reduce the rate at which your broadband or your bundle reduces is to still on security you go to domain name filter you click on you look through you click on domain name filter all right so on domain name filter we have blacklist and whitelist blacklist and whitelist blacklist mean that whichever url whichever website whichever web page you add into this table will be blacklisted on the router meaning that no one can access that particular website through the router so let's see i add a site site like YouTube yeah we all know YouTube is a very heavy site so we had a site like YouTube so we can read the dot YouTube dot com the moment you type you finish typing the name of the site on status you click on on you select on you click on ok after clicking on ok you apply you click on apply meaning that Okay, are you sure you want to? Are you sure you want to save the settings? Okay. So, meaning that at this very moment, I can't or whichever device that connects to the router can't access YouTube. Now, let's try and see. Let's try um, www.youtube.com. You see, it's not opening. It will load and load and load and load and tell you the site can't be reached. It's not opening. <laughs> it's not opening. So it's as easy as that. It will load and let me reload, reload again. Um, www.youtube.com It will load and load and load and tell you the site can't be opened. That's it. So let me close the tab. So that's it. So whichever website you don't want any user to access, like this funny, funny website, you just add it to this table, and as simple as that, the site will be blocked. All right. And whitelist also means that when you put the system on whitelist, meaning that whichever URL or whichever website you add here will be the only website users can access. Nothing more, nothing less. So take note. Advisably, I don't use whitelist. So these are some of the ways you can control your data or the usage of your data on your TurboNet router. So in this table, you can add as many websites as you want in order not to waste your bandwidth. So thank you very much. If today is your first time on my channel, I plead with you to kindly subscribe and hit on the notification button in order not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm out.